It's not quite the fountain of youth, but researchers tell us tonight they have found new clues to the aging process. In fact, they say they've managed to slow it down, in mice anyway. These two mice are the same age. The one on the left appears past his prime, while the one on the right remains healthy. Dr. John LaPook is our medical correspondent. And John, I wonder, how did the researchers figure this out? Scott, there are cells in mice and humans called senescent cells and they accumulate with aging, they secrete toxic substances that can damage the surrounding tissues. And doctors have always wondered, could they somehow be involved in the aging process? Well, what these researchers did was figure out a way to destroy the senescent cells in young mice. And when they did that, they blunted the aging process. They then let the mice get a little older, destroyed the senescent cells again, and sure enough, they further blunted any further aging. Now, what they were not able to do is reverse aging. Well, what are the implications for humans? got a rush to say these are in mice, not men, it's preliminary, and who knows how it's going to be applied to men. But just for fun, let's go there, okay? It turns out that in mice, if they do exercise, they lower the number of those cells. So perhaps that's the mechanism by which exercise helps all of us, and that's something people can do now. But real science fiction, and who knows if this will happen, imagine if you can make a vaccine against the senescent cells. So as you get older, your own immune system destroys them and blunts the aging process. Imagine that, Scott. For good or for bad, a vaccine against aging. John, thank you very much. Incredible.